get up to um if we can get up to a hundred views like that sign over there then we can then that would be super awesome and i would thank you all so please share in the comments below how many times you watched this video so well, so today we're going to answer some questions that that we found in the book called Why by Crispin Boyer. It's a very good book and it has a lot of answers to everything. So, first question. What is the Big Bang? The Big Bang is the name for the leading theory behind the birth of everything. Atoms, light, gravity, gases, stars, planets, galaxies, and even time itself. Wow, but I can't live without time. Because, because, because if you broke a hole in the space-time continuum, then things would be super duper bad. But I'm not going to tell you about that because I'm just a wolf. But my scientists have found plenty of evidence to back up this Big Bang theory. The name itself isn't entirely accurate. The universe didn't begin with a bang. Sound didn't even exist yet. Oh my god. Let's see what that is. Or even a mighty explosion. Fire and matter didn't exist either. Even light was a relatively late addition to the cosmic chronology. Confused? Here are the guys that think how scientists think it all again. In the beginning, a long time ago, woo, a woo. Time didn't even exist, neither did space. But but the space must be there. That is so cool. Oh, I'm Jai. Next question: Why does my twenty dollar bill have a funny feel to it? Currency is printed on a special type of paper named from, made from cotton and linen, which is why your bills don't become blobs of papery mush when they're accidentally run through the wash. That unique paper, combined with the intense pressure of the printing presses, gives genuine money its thin, crisp, unique feel, which is nearly impossible to replicate. Uh, why does my $20 bill have a vertical, a vertical strip in it when I hold it to the light? To make it more difficult to counterfeit, make a copy and try to pass it off as a real thing, the skinny thread is implanted vertically and imprinted with the tiny word USA 20 and also goes green under ultraviolet light. Why does my $20 bill have a tiny 20 on the bottom right corner? The small 20 on the bill's front shifts from green to copper. It's printed with color shifting ink that's hard for counterfeiters to copy even with high definition printers. Why does my $20 bill have a fainter portrait of President Andrew da Jackson to the right of his main image? The second image of Jackson is barely visible to the right of his main image when you hold your bill up to the light. The special type of hidden image is called a watermark, another anti-counterfeiting feature. Next question. Who owns the internet? The internet is like a gigantic, it's like a gigantic big best wolf friend because you cannot live without it. Imagine if you didn't have your phone. No! That's what you'd be like. Beefy, thank you for giving the example. So who owns it? The person who did must be super duper lucky, right? But let's see who does. Three, two, one, drum roll. Nobody. Not even a single person, company, or government. The internet is a network of millions of interconnected computers and servers spread across the globe. A non-profit international group called the Internet Society does watch over the global network, establishing protocols, a system of rules for sharing data, and, promotion, and promoting its evolution and access to everybody. So, nobody owns the internet. Next question. Ooh, I like this one. Why do wolves howl? Ah, A wolf pack re relies on teamwork to hunt prey and defend its territory. By working together, a pack can take down 
much larger animal, and nothing built seem spirit just like a good group howl, one of nature's most haunting sounds. Wolves howl in a chorus co often. When they wake up before a hunt, perhaps even for fun, on the bell of the town mile, 16 kilometers, away in the right terrain, a howl also functions as a tax long distance phone service. Wolves will howl to call members to a meeting site, one of danger to the pups, or tell a neighboring packs to keep off their land. Well, that's the end of the questions. We'll do one next week. We'll do, we will do one next week. So, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my video, and please try to get to 100 views. That would be awesome. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.